Oreo. We all Episode two, Oreos. I need this goop to become solid. Wait, is that salt? I'm throwing an audible here. Oh, weird. I think this is the best thing I've ever made on this show. <laughs> That's oh. awful. <laughs> What's up? Oh, oh well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's not easy to do what we do. We make it look easy. <laughs> Four chefs enter and one survives. Her chef. A big live special to end it all. Yes, chef. And you guys get to vote on the winner. Her chef. Tryguys.com slash war. The Try Guys are back in the test kitchen for another episode of Without a Recipe. This week, they're making Oreos. Jared. Yes? You did it. <laughs> Will the judges hurt their fillings? The cookie is maybe the worst cookie I've ever had. Or is there no wrong way to make an Oreo? How is it sour? Each chef will have two and a half hours to make their Oreos and will present their creamy goodies to our panel of judges. Welcome back to Without a Recipe, Episode 2, Oreos. Hey everybody, it's Rosina Pancino, and I host a popular baking show online and also a couple Food Network shows. Hi, I'm Sherry Yard. I've been baking for four decades. I was the pastry chef with Wolfgang Puck, did the Academy Awards, Emmy Awards, cookbook author, and a presenter as well. Hi, I'm Monique. I am a two Michelin starred pastry chef and a semi-professional Oreo fan. An Oreo is a delicious sandwich cookie. There's a lot of room for creativity because there are maybe like 200 Oreo flavors. You also want to think about the experience of eating something. Like if you take a bite of a cookie that's too hard and the filling is too soft, then that might sploosh. Or vice versa, if you have a really soft cookie and really hard filling, that's not very palatable either. My advice for the guys would be to Think calmly if possible and have a good vision with what your flavor profile will be. I would not show up for work that day if I had to make this without a recipe. <laughs> Oreos! What's in them? I'm too afraid to find out. I like Oreos when they're held in milk just to the point before they completely disintegrate into the glass of milk. I like them to be mush. I do like the split. I always get a perfect split. Don't break them apart and eat it piece by piece. Eat it all at the same time. <laughs> I don't know how to make Oreos. I don't know how to bake. I'm not gonna have to make the milk, right? <laughs> all the semantics and all the ingredients, they don't matter. It's the presentation and the vibe that I bring. Jared and Quazy are back and thank God, cause I don't want to lose. They know. This is the beautiful specimen that we're trying to create today. Without a recipe is no longer about making food, it's about reinventing food. Just try your best. Yeah? When you sweat, wipe yourself. Okay. Don't use the rag to wipe yourself on the food. That's your advice <laughs> right before we make cookies? Oh. <laughs> All right, bakers. One hour and 30 minutes on the clock. In three, two, one. Oh! Okay, let's, we're making cookies. We're making cookies, okay, but these the are different us. than other cookies. Oreos are vegan. Right, which is why I'm making ham cookies today. <laughs> but what is an Oreo? It's a sandwich cookie. How can a sandwich and a cookie be the same thing? Who would eat cookies for lunch? Not until now, with my invention of the sweet ham sandwich cookie. What is a more basic sandwich than a ham sandwich? But I'm gonna try to replicate an Oreo, but as a ham sandwich. So we're looking at more of a crackery outside cookie and an inside that is a beautiful creamed honey ham. For the cookie though, I'm gonna keep it pretty standard. I'm gonna do, you know, cocoa cookie. Just make a chocolate cookie. A chocolate cookie with some tahini in it. Tahini. Yeah. Today I am making a mango chili Oreo. I'm bringing the sweet, I'm bringing the spicy. 
This is gonna be a Mexico inspired Oreo. It's gonna have a nice little mango puree in the middle and then around the rim, we're doing some tahini. I'm gonna really try hard to make this vegan because I wanna eat it. Making cookies, you need to make a batter. Uh, you need a bigger bowl than this. I'm gonna be making a curry and rum Oreo. Throwback to my Caribbean roots. We have amazing curry. We're gonna bring my world together with the Oreo world and every, my, the judge is gonna take one bite and they're gonna drink a beverage and then they're gonna repeat. Are there gonna be things that we can use that isn't in front of me? Hey, here's the thing, no one's gonna help you. You can talk all you want. There's no one gonna help you. 24 cookies. <laughs> that's, oi, 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 that's so many cookies, I've never made one. Red velvet Oreo with peppermint icing. Red velvet, because I love red velvet cookies. Also, red velvet, it seems like, how hard could that be? <laughs> I mean, every bakery in the world has red velvet. So I'm hoping that that subconscious energy of knowing how attracts itself to me in the kitchen. I don't know what's in red velvet. Why'd I choose red velvet? Today, we are making a TGO, a Try Guys Oreo. We are going to add all-purpose flour, bread flour, black cocoa, and a little bit of regular Dutch processed cocoa. Okay, so this is cocoa powder, flour, and now we need sugar. And let's get that tahine. It is chili powder, but it's got like salt. It's got some lime infusion. Okay, I'm making a ginger <laughs> mustard cookie for my sweet ham. Cookie sandwich. You need to explain to me this flavor profile because it doesn't make sense to me. Think about ginger Chinese food. Mustard. Chi I think it'll work. I think it'll work. Should I just like do it? Bust it in there, yeah. And then is this already powered on? I feel like I put in like a ton of flour, no? Jared, what's your measurement on flour there? Like eight handfuls. Like you put your hands in this? I'm just saying. Was that not supposed to? <laughs> no. Oh, so, yo, come on. Oh, 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 oh God. God damn it. All right. So, have you baked before? Never in my life. Like, not once go. in my entire yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so, welcome to the hardest thing of, of cooking. I don't have any baking powder or baking soda in these cookies. Baking powder, baking soda. What's the difference? What's powder, the difference? I, powder is powder rise and soda also rises, but less. I don't want any leavening action to have them puff up. You're doing baking powder. I'm gonna use baking powder. You know why? Because why? mustard has vinegar in it. And this is science. Part of science is failure. And we're good at science. We are going to brown our butter because we are trying to get rid of the moisture content. In the beginning, when everything is just melting and the water is boiling off, you can go pretty high on the heat. I need some butter in here, I know that. And I, I wish I knew how much butter I need. Do, do a little bit, and then if it's you're not, you don't think it's enough, put a little more in it. When in doubt, butter it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no like fat that is vegan here, except for coconut oil. Coconut oil, if you're aiming for a vegan Oreo, is a really great option for the filling, maybe not the cookie. Oreos don't melt at room temp. And coconut oil. <laughs> Most cookies don't melt. So now with this cooled brown butter, we're going to add some sugar and we're just going to bring this together. Well, I think this is giving me cookie vibes. You're getting cookie vibes? Yeah, already? yeah, a little bit. I'm like, I'm taking my time with it. It's slow. Everything's getting stuck to the the thing thing. When you're working with cookies, the last thing you want to do is form too much gluten. And gluten is formed when flour touches liquid. There's no way that Oreos need oat milk. Oat milk was like invented three and a half years ago. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and so to keep these really tender and crumbly, there is zero liquid. <laughs> Cup of milk, sure. Two eggs. We're just gonna put a little lube in here. What? There are no milk or eggs in this. So I have probably seven eggs and a whole bottle of e j rum. For Oreos, they're often called dry, but that's exactly why they work. If I've already added heavy whipping cream, is it a terrible, terrible decision to go milk as well? Because when you take a bite, you get the perfect ratio of 
cookie filling cookie. So there is no liquid absolutely whatsoever in this recipe. All right, yeah, so if it's too dry, okay. more liquid. More liquid. Yeah, I don't know which liquid. It could be egg Yeah. or it could be milk. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's more yeah. liquid. You I wanna think I want to add some more of this whipping cream. All right. So I am not going to use the KitchenAid because I don't want to incorporate too much air in these cookies. I want them to stay flat. Oh, that's a good question. You know, I, in my head, I've been doing a timer. It was probably like six minutes. No, honestly, it was probably like eight minutes. All right, give it a good one. And so with that in mind, we are going to work this just until it comes together. See, I like that sound. That whoosh, whoosh, whoosh sound. That sounds like I'm fairly on my way. If you are using the KitchenAid for this recipe, that would be a pretty big mistake. This cookie's gonna have a lot of cocoa, whether I like it or not. This does not look like cookie anymore. I'm a little concerned with the color. It looks like really shredded meat now. Like this looks like a turkey to me. <laughs> okay, our dough is almost come together and you can see that it's crumbly and pretty dry. Things are going swimmingly. I've got a nice little cocoa crumble over here. Wow, yours is very different. I've made what looks just like fudge. So I've got a nice fudge and you've got cake. A cake batter, yeah. I gotta put more flour in. <laughs> Neither of these are cookies. Okay, good luck, Keith. It's just like so much more flour than we expect. This kind of feels like cookie dough. If you overwork your dough, something happens and the expert will tell you right now. Oh yeah, if you work the dough for too long, it's gonna be a gluten fest. It's like pizza yep, but it doesn't feel like it, Rach. <laughs> it feels different. So we are going to scale out little seven gram balls of this. I'm piping the cookies out so I can have the perfect size Oreo. Yo, I'm getting so good at cooking. I'm gonna be honest, you look like you've made cookies before. I that know. piping technique is intimidating. <laughs> Yo, I'm intimidated. Dude, I feel like Eugene or something like that, dude. <laughs> Are you gonna pipe too? No, by, by no means should your cookie be pipeable. Why are we using this bag? <laughs> Jared, don't, don't follow me, man. <laughs> I don't know what the f I'm doing, man. <laughs> In what world is an Oreo dough pipeable? Let me think. Yeah. We'll just bring it to the edges and kind of stamp it down. And then this we will pop in the freezer and we will unmold it when it's set. All right, let's press them. Oh, this is adorable. Oh my God, I'm in love. <laughs> Okay, so we've got this hilarious ham stamp. I'm gonna spray these with pan. Sweet ham! My cookies kind of smell like Tom Ka. Oh, I f***ed that up. <laughs> oh, that's not gonna be good at all. We have to find a new strategy here, Cotton. Okay, okay, okay. Jerry, get your shit together. This is pretty liquidy. How can I make it hard? Are hard. How do I make this harder than what it currently is? Rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Couple of things of salt, baby. Should I go a little <laughs> salt, baby? <bay? laughs> I just put a lot of salt in there. I think that was a bad idea. <laughs> I fucked up, didn't I? <laughs> and so after they are frozen and unmolded, this is what they should look like. Because this design is so intricate and small, you want the fat to solidify so that you can peel off that rubber mold and get your molded cookie. We are baking our cookies at 300 degrees for exactly 10 minutes. I have 24 and I have about four more extra for like a backup. Let's put them in and we'll cut some more. But honestly, they smell so hilariously mustardy. Here I go. I'm gonna try and make a third batch as fast as humanly possible, and I'm gonna use the outside oven to really roast and toast them. Wow, those are good. Thanks. <laughs> are you bullshitting me? No, <laughs> I'm actually being totally honest. Those look very nice. All right, nice. The consistency is actually pretty solid. Hopefully it's not. Uh, I should have done this before I put it in. They look all over the place. Okay, here we go. Back in, back in the oven. Three, two, one. Watch your forearms. Yay! Yay! Look at this! Look at that! That's, fucking, that's a shitty Oreo if I ever saw one. You know what, Keith? I'm gonna say it, and I'm gonna say it earnestly for the first time in without a recipe history. I'm a master baker. <laughs>
I'm feeling good. I'm sure he is going crazier in the other kitchen. Meanwhile, Jared is still struggling with his cookie dough. Oh my God, that goes so quick. It's not as red as red velvet. It's like pink. It's like pink velvet, but I kind of like that. Okay. Yo. What? You're telling me that this is bad, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you're right. God, this is also not a good idea. Guys, I'm at a serious draw point. I don't know how to put this in the best way onto this map. No, it's too it's liquidy. Flour. Okay. We're going back in. The theme for this entire cookie is to not overmix. I think I added too much flour. With that much flour, should I add more sugar? This is getting harder and it smells like cake. If you work the dough for too long, it's gonna be a gluten fest. I'm close, I'm so close. I know I am. Where's that flour? Get over here. Look at that. Are you effing out of your mind right now? It's probably gonna be more gluten than any other thing. Can you hold the bag? Thank you so much. You're so welcome. This is definitely not. This isn't the trick, right? Listen, we're just gonna have to rock and roll with this. I'm just gonna have to improvise, honestly. Holy shit, why are you rolling it out? Because I wanted to roll it and then press it. Okay. But I didn't think it would stick to the roller in <laughs> such a way. Oh, I am f I don't think I can even, okay. you could do this. I got it. Don't say no, Jared. I got it. Jared, you got this. I got this, I got There's this. There's no giving up. I'm not giving up. If you form too much gluten, I don't know if mistake is even the right word. I think that's a, that might be a start over. How's it going, boys? It's going yeah. absolutely terrible. Oh, Keith. what is that, bubble gum? Yep. I've never seen um, cookie dough stretch. What do we think we need to do to make this work? You think I can help? Are we allowed? Yeah. I, I called it. To be honest, I was summoned by Rachel to come and help, <laughs> and I quote, make it so he can possibly serve something <laughs> to the judges. Sure, Throw it on. How are you feeling? Terrible. <laughs> I feel terrible. I'm really good. It's not easy to do what we do. We make it look easy. <laughs> it's so, so like a school eraser. Like a big eraser. This is hot. How long were you running this thing? The whole time. This thing is hot. Yeah, That's what you did. You, so, Jared, when you work flour, yeah. it makes bonds, like gluten. Yeah. So what you've done is transform this fully into yeah. like actual rubber. Okay. This red velvet. 15 minutes. So I'm just trying to make the quickest, fastest, don't even think about it cookie batter. Wow, Keith, that looks amazing. I'm just going as fast as I can. Take these discs and put them on that. On this? Yeah, on that one, yes. We need more parts for paper. Get a little spatulas! Where the hell are my spatulas? We, we, have, to, we have to throw these in. We gotta get these in the outside oven right now. Okay. Jared, take it I'm taking it. Let's go. Go. go, 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 go. Okay. Okay. Walking, walking, walking. Go. Get him in there. Get him in there. You are a hero. Thank I you. Hope, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if those are good. It is the next day, and the guys are ready to cream their cookies. They will have one hour to prepare their filling. Cream, 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 It's about ham time. Today we are making icing. The second part of the Oreo experience. Uh, these are beautiful. They at least look like cookies. Oh, it smells delicious like ham. Guys, these are, this is, I mean, is it too much? Is it too good? Because these are Oreos. We really are the experts now. We're the pros. We're the pros. God, these look as bad as I remember. My cookies are terrible. Woo! Those look good. Mm. Quasi, I'm proud of you. Thank you. I am farther along than I'd ever thought I'd be with the help of Keith, of course. So technically I'm like winning in my own mind. <laughs> no Never? No. But okay. Without Keith, I have this like, this looks like chewed gum that I put at the bottom of a desk. Holy oh, shit. I'll taste it. Can I taste it? Is it cooked? You may win this shit. I'm telling you, dude. It tastes good? No. Okay, you may not, you may not win this shit. <laughs> An Oreo filling classically is kind of dry, very sweet, and a little bit crumbly. Ours is going to be very simple. It is going to start with shortening, which is our base. It's going to be equal part icing sugar. There's a lot of shortening. 
Do you think that's how they make the cream in the- I I'm gonna use shortening. Again, Oreos are vegan. So my hunch here is that it's shortening flavor sugar. Sh what the hell is shortening? What is it smelling? Like nothing. It doesn't smell like anything. What is shortening? Just put it in. Wait, wait, I don't think that's how that works. You don't know what it is. Hey, man, it's without a <laughs> recipe, baby. <laughs> without a recipe, baby. <laughs> okay, so we got Keith's ham. Two slices in the blender. Maybe I'll do a little bit of cream cheese. Cream cheese and ham. You ever had cream cheese, ham, and pickles? Okay, mango. I was watching Jared and Quasi off camera, and I'm just like, I'm jealous. They're so free. I know, it's Unencumbered. like- Unencumbered. They clearly don't know what they're doing, but us, we got this in the bag. <laughs> Eggs are calling my name. I don't know why. Specifically egg whites. I'm probably gonna infuse it with curry. My brain is just telling me sugar and butter. Like a lot. And what's your flavor? Peppermint extract. And then we are going to season it with some salt and vanilla because we do want it to have some flavor. The theme for this entire cookie is to not overmix. So once again, for the filling, we are not touching the kitchen. <laughs> This actually looks pretty good. Oh shit, you actually like, yours is working. What is that? What do you put in there? Butter and sugar, baby. You put flour too? Nope, not yet. Oh Should shit. Should I fucking use flour? F is oh shit, I think I got it. This smells really good. Oh, my peppermint extract. I think I got it. Oh my gosh, Jared. Yes? You did it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes! Dude, Quasi, I think we're making it. I think no, that looks like it. We're making a hell of a team. That I looks like the thing. A buttercream would be very melty. It also would be very fatty. Definitely not structurally sound for something like a sandwich cookie. Well, oh, I need to make a solid. This I think I actually need more butter. What is coagulating? When it coagulates is when it's like sticking together. It's not coagulating. I need well, to we coagulate. Well, good use of the word. I really want this ham to be a smooth ham paste. Like if ham were toothpaste kind of paste. That's beautiful. It's, oh yeah. I'm gonna pipe this ham. Let's puree that mingo. Okay, I gotta use this fun little, everybody's fa favorite old timey film camera to make the powdered sugar nice and fine. 45 minutes. I'm gonna put some more rum in. The curry's coming up. Oh, my Sauvignon Blanc. Yo, I made ice icing. I, sorry, am I yelling too loud? Yeah, you are. I'm sorry, I made icing. <laughs> Holy f I did it. Try this, I cannot believe what I've done. Oh, shit, I think you made it. How the f do you do that? I'll help you. I'm gonna have a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll help you. All right, no egg whites. All right, Jared, let me know, what do we do? Sugar, and Sugar. I didn't measure it, so don't ask me how much. I did like four of those. Big ass ones? Yeah, like two big ass ones, and then yeah. two like half big ones. Wow. Oh, there and you go. How much butter? I did like a bar and a half of this, bitch. Oh, and then a little bit, as it's going, I added ah, a little whipping milk, cream. Milk, yeah. Oh, they have mango puree. Dark brown sugar. I did, so I just wasted all my time. You guys had mango puree in there. Oops. Let's try a little bit of dark brown sugar. Oh, and this is way more pureed than mine. Oh, f my mango. Who needs it? So what if I put some xanthan gum in there? To really firm it up. I don't think I would use something like xanthan gum to stabilize my frosting. Xanthan gum has a tendency to be, unsurprisingly, kind of gummy. And that's just not good eats for a sandwich cookie. One quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum. Keith, I really think that this is gonna be just mango sugar shortening. I think you could be right. And then maybe the um, the xanthan to, to bind it. It's not like thick enough. Xanthan gum. Yeah. I'm gonna try some xanthan. It's gotta as well. be xanthan gum, because I think it needs a lot to really bind this ham. I need this goop to become solid. I put so much goop in there. Quarter teaspoon of xanthan. It's time to add the motherfucking curry. Let's go! Curry time! Curry time. Uh, uh. Where did that come from? <laughs> Turn that into mango. Thank you, mom and dad. Thanks, Quasi Mom and Dad. That was actually very good. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put some of this in this bag. I'm gonna put it in the fridge or the freezer. Let's just um, let's. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna extract some goop here. Wow, it's a lot. It's, this is like lunch lady status. Come get your goop. Goop's up. Goop's up. Wait, it's just kind of gotten more solid just by sitting here. 
All right, we're gonna do a little science experiment. Yeah, that's great. I love that for me. We're gonna take some of this goop that's pretty goopy, and we're just gonna put a little bit of flour in there. I know that everyone's been like, Zach, you're crazy, there's no flour, but we're just gonna try. I'm gonna take this. Okay, see, those look great. So hopefully. Did you just punch out the centers? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, those are small and cute. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not playing. Okay, so we have our cooled cookies. So we are going to pipe in the center as much as possible. Just a healthy dollop. And just, and I'm just gonna lightly press until I'm happy with where the filling is. And there we have a Try Guys Oreo. It is perfectly balanced, um, the right moisture content, and just really delicious overall. 10 minutes. The ice feels good. I'm gonna give it a good uh, one over, a good glaze. I don't wanna leave the consumer with not enough, but I don't wanna leave the consumer with too much. This actually looks kind of fun. Does this look like a ham? I find one that is a very clear ham indent, like this one. All right, so I've fully committed to this AP flour plan. I, I don't know what else to do. I don't know how to make it bind. You can eat raw flour, right? Yeah. Doesn't taste good. Come on, boy, get out of here, boy. Oh, yeah. A circle of icing oh, yeah. to represent my circular journey with cooking. The circle is imperfect because we are not perfect. <laughs> and that represents room for growth. That's right. And that's my plating message. This is mango puree and lots of sugar and shortening and some xanthan gum and flour because I'm panicking and it's not gooping enough. So then it's all about the finish. This is a sloppy one, but I want to get a nice teen rim. And this is a mango chili Oreo. I'm not tasting the mango, it's not mango-y enough. Okay, we got mango extract. Uh, it's probably wrong to use this at the 10th hour. There's a, a bit of a secret hint of ginger at the bottom with a, a dash of honey. And then there's a curry turmeric filling that is just so gorgeous and sexy. Ooh. And then what I do, I just throw a little bit of flakes of a uh, cinnamon on top. This a uh, dash it up a little bit. Keith is focusing intensely on his ham, and I ham what I am, and I ham a ham. A ham, it's it's tough to paint ham. Let me tell you. Oh, you're painting tops and bottoms. I've gotta. You know, if I don't, they're gonna be like, well, I wish you would have painted both sides. So I'm not giving them any reason to not love this delicious ham cookie. This is like triple stuff. Look at this, look how fucking sexy that is. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's the hottest freaking Oreo I've ever seen. And then you got six minutes to make sure you have everything right in your first Got it, copy that, chef. Wait, we have to bag stuff? Yeah, we gotta get everything In our right. seven minutes? Yeah. yeah. Oh, f f f What am I bagging? <laughs> I'm just drinking wine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I didn't know that was part of it. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Ham. Ham. Ham's up, bakers. I can't believe I did it. Good job. Good job, Lazy. Good job. Today we'll be judging on taste, presentation, creativity, and is it an Oreo? Oreos have been around for over a hundred years. 1912, they were released in two flavors, the classic chocolate cream and lemon meringue, which they stopped making in 1920. In recent years, they're coming out with flavors left and right. I think what's really distinctive is that dark cocoa flavor, the same powder that gives it that really deep color. I think there's a lot of opportunity for creativity as it goes to chocolate, right? Chocolate marries really well with other flavors. The Oreo is your oyster. Oyster Oreos. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Sounds fishy to me. <laughs> Hola, judges. That's how I would say hi, judges, and Mexico. One of my favorite Mexican snacks is mango chili. It's where you take a dried mango, dip it in tahini, love it so much. So I decided to take one of my favorite snacks. We got the mango chili Oreo. Wow. Wow. Oh. So you've got yourself 
a mango Oreo with a nice tahini rim. The cookie is chocolate, classic cocoa. I uh, wanted to keep that pretty standard and traditional, and the filling is pureed mangoes. I added sugar, and we have ourselves a party. Well, I like the color. I mean, traditionally an Oreo just has the white and the, the dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. And so to see texture on the outside from the tahini is a nice surprise. And that little burst of yellow coming out from the mango is very happy. I had a little bit of it like the cheerleader effect when they first came out uh -huh. because they're really colorful. Um, they kind of look like Halloween-esque, which is really fun. This is really creative. I did many challenges of trying Oreo flavors, and I've never tried a mango tahini Oreo. Mmm. <laughs> we love a big reaction. They taste, they're flavoring. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> this is, it's the tartness with the spice and then the... Coco, it's um, oh weird. <laughs> mm. I think this is the best thing I've ever made on this show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I was blindfolded. I don't think I could guess this flavor because <laughs> I'm having a hard time even. I'm not. I'm not sure if I would put those together, Zach. I don't know what's going on here. Well, good thing you're not competing this episode. <laughs> but I usually love chocolate with fruit. I ate my whole. My yeah, whole she, you cookie. love and it. Sherry, you've always been my favorite chocolate. <laughs> Clean plate cloths. I, I did get an unctuous one. Yeah. So it had a lot more of the mango filling to the tahini around the outside. You know, maybe if you put something else into the the chocolate shortbread itself, mm. that would make it more powerhouse. That could hold up? I think it's a structural issue because structure does play a part in flavor. I think the problem is that when you go to eat it like a sandwich, your filling like drops down and so you get a hit of tahini first and that's all you have. But when it is together, it's very good. Do I get bonus points for it being vegan? That is true to the Oreo. I think so. Yeah. Can I add, yeah. please? <laughs> <laughs> Judges, is it an Oreo? Yes. Yes. What? Yeah. Three yeses. Wow, Zach. Wow. <laughs> Buckets. <laughs> Fellas, you want to try my cookie? Thank you. Yeah, let's. That's so pretty. Soft. Thank you, Zachary. Yeah, soft. It's hard. <laughs> I, this is like a perfect food for me. I love oh. this. Uh, this is <laughs> it's so tart. My, my tongue. It's so tart. It's so, it's so much. Sour. Yeah, it's, it's really good. You guys are right. This is awesome. <laughs> Oreos, as you know and said so beautifully, they've been around forever. And only recently have they really started experimenting with their flavors. I wanted to travel us to the future of the eventuality of what Oreo will become. It's been sweet and now they're dancing in more sweet and it's a sandwich cookie. So at some point, they're gonna start borrowing from other sandwiches. And what's a more classic sandwich than a ham sandwich? <laughs> sweet ham, that's good. These are my sweet, Ham Savorios. <laughs> they're, sa <laughs> they're savory Oreos. What you have here is a cookie. It has some mustard, some ginger, and then the cream is ham and cream cheese and honey. <laughs> <laughs> These are creative. I've never seen this as a flavor. And usually seasonally, I love when candy comes out and they'll theme it like after something that's super savory. Yeah, love ham Even candy. Even those little, um, <laughs> what are they called? Those yeah. Candy corn. First glance, I wouldn't be able to tell that that's a ham design on the top. <laughs> but the color is just so far from ham. You're smiling like that's on purpose. Is that on purpose? Well, if it looked just like ham, I feel like you'd be even more revolted. Um, it's still a cookie. Okay, okay. <laughs> the filling looks like it's really chunky too, which... Well, it's ham, is. but it's rather smooth. Mm. Looks like spam inside, actually. The color is like yeah, vaguely... Is. Okay, let's give it a go. Wow. <laughs> 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 so you love it. Hold this on, is... let the flavor develop. Let them, let them taste. Let's not color their opinion. You're right, that's right. Our commentary. I ate it. It's good. 
<laughs> I think they don't know. I'm trying my best to like it, Key. They really am. Try a little harder. <laughs> What's up? Oh, oh, well, no, that's, oh, not, that's not constructive. Oh, that's, awful. that's not constructive. What's wrong with it? Oh, just, oh no. I feel Be like honest. my dog when they give it peanut butter. <laughs> so good. I've never eaten Play Doh, but I'm guessing this is what the texture would be like. But the texture of the cookies is also a little tough. Did you work uh, it? Oh, I'm sure, yeah. Yeah, I sure did. You know why? It was kept being too wet. It was really kept chewy. Kept add in more flour. Oh, I thought, I honestly thought it was pretty good, but honestly, I haven't had one today. I had them yesterday, and probably the flavor evolved. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Matured, maybe. Oh, yeah. The cookie itself is chewy. It's very chewy. Yeah. It's very creative. They're very, very creative. Thank you. They're very special. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I just need some tweet. Do you want to try dunking it in milk? <laughs> <laughs> that actually might be pretty good. <clears throat> well, judges, you know, your opinions aside, is it an Oreo? <laughs> Well, it is a cookie sandwich, but um, I wouldn't say yes. So no, you would. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I wouldn't say yes. <laughs> it is a cookie sandwich. Sherry, uh, is it an Oreo? You think? Uh, it's a stretch. It's too no. bad, but one out of three is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> is it really smells like a ham sandwich? Give it a good smell. It, yeah, it this really one does. A ham sandwich. Like close your eyes and smell it. That's a ham sandwich. Which I think this is something you have to want to like, <laughs> and if you want to like it, you will. I like it. So my fellow esteemed bakers, fellow meaning me as well now, I present to you a masterpiece, if I may, red velvet, Oreo with peppermint icing. This is my first real go at cookies, and I wanted to keep it nice and easy and fun. And red velvet's fun, it reminds me of a party. And peppermint is seasonal and sweet. I had sous chef as some assistance. <laughs> Just minimal, minimal, minimal assistance, like basically all me. The three pink ones, Rachel forced me to put them on there. Um, but, you know, avoid those and just go for the darker ones. Yeah. Oh, please dunk them and bite carefully. They're all different sizes. I didn't want to go uniform. I didn't like when you went to school and they made you dress in the same uniform. I like uniqueness. Oh, okay. I want to feel like each one is a special treat made just for you. Which one you got is yours. This one is so uniquely shaped. I just... They look like Fred Flintstone. Maybe start with the good ones. They're great. They're both great. Start with whatever one you want. What's going on, bro? <laughs> Were these hot maybe when you put them together or the filling on? The filling actually for some reason was stickier and then over lunch today it started to like soften and like oh, almost turn into liquid which I didn't want. Because it is, it looks like it's melting even though. I don't want it to be. This. Yeah. Yep, just be careful. Tough. These are yeah, oh tough. Yeah, tough like me, you know? Yeah, these are a little tough. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take <laughs> You went for the pink first. Okay. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, wash your teeth now. Wow, that is a tough cookie. Hell yeah. That's what we're tough like cookies. The, like the saying, that's <laughs> sure. Chocolates have a tendency to be dry and you don't want to over mix them. Sure. So as soon as um, your dry ingredients incorporate, as soon as you know your flour gets mixed in, <laughs> stop. So I would say like, maybe 30 seconds. Is there never a time where you should do it for like 40 minutes? <laughs> 40? Yeah. Give or take, I don't even know. <laughs> but it was like, it felt like 40 minutes. Is that never something you would do in your restaurants? You're making bread. Yeah, I think the, the KitchenAid almost all overheated a bit. The yeah, KitchenAid was hot to the touch. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The rosy red velvet is very cake-like and cracker-like and it really, it's over-baked also. Yeah, yeah. So it just, the, all the flavor, this, there's no sweetness to it. The peppermint for me is overwhelming. Okay. And it just, that's all I'm, I'm left with it. And, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does it hit after the milk or? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. That was the most yeah. Honest. 
That okay. was the most honest shake of the head. But I think you were on the right track with flavor profile because chocolate goes really well with, you know, a, a peppermint. It reminds me of like the holidays. Creativity. That's a, that's a cool Oreo idea. I think it would be great. It would make a great seasonal Oreo flavor. Is this an Oreo? I would lean towards yes, this is an Oreo. It's a You're cookie rough. sandwich. It's like a whoopie pie, like a really dry whoopie pie. <laughs> I don't know. Like, oh, I'm thinking whoopie cushion. <laughs> Judges. Judges, that was steel drums. <laughs> and I'm Quasi James. Where can we buy tickets? What you're about to experience is a Trinidad and Tobago rum infused cookie. In the middle is curry sauce. In the bottom is a ginger with a little bit of honey for the sweet notes. Eat it in one bite <laughs> and enjoy. They look really dense, even from here. Did you cut them after you baked them? Is dense a good word? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think they look more like biscuits? Than they really they do. do. They were the uh, yeah. uh, biscuits more biscuits. than biscuits. I would pie. say uh, that's what we call cookies in the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a mini size. It's not a standard Oreo size. It's a little mini. Elevated, yes. And <laughs> it looks really dense. It's heavy for its oh, size. Uh, it's dripping. Uh, yep. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Mm, yes. <coughs> it's salty. Really salty. Okay. Bet you're missing that ham there. <laughs> 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 I should maybe the two together. <laughs> it's like there's a lot going on. But at the same time, it's very bland. Cookie itself is just, it's tough, and it doesn't have a lot of flavor for me. It's kind of just like eating flavorless, what temp dry, like tough cardboard. Is there rum in the cookie? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a whole bottle of E&J in those cookies. I yeah, so I the thing, it. when you put alcohol in dough, yeah, and you put it in the oven, it just bakes out. A lot of the flavor and the alcohol just disappears, bakes right out. But in the future, if you wanna like infuse an alcohol, I would put a little bit of it in your filling. The flavor combo is really good. Yeah. Very, very creative. Maybe yeah. one of the most wow. creative things I've seen. Come on, come on, the, come on. The cookie is maybe the worst. Show me love, show me love, show me love. <laughs> uh, let me stop you right there. Don't go there, show me love. This is love. Uh, show <laughs> Show me love. The cookie is maybe the worst cookie I've ever had. Oh my god! Wow. Why are you so mean? It's a win for ham. <laughs> Judges, is it an Oreo? No. It's this very little cookie sandwichy bready thing. I'll take that. <sighs> Judges, thank you. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god! Is, is this tahini too? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> oh, Did you never try it? No, I never tried it before. Yeah. Man, you guys were right. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, baking Oreos without a recipe is basically impossible. The official recipe is probably locked up somewhere and even professionals wouldn't dare. So the fact that you did this, especially for some of you who have never baked before, is really impressive. Good job. Very proud of you. Good job, everyone. Good job, everyone. I have the honor of announcing who came in last place today. The person who came in last place today gave us a cookie that was very tough in texture. It didn't have much flavor. And the, the filling was um, really unique and a delight. And I think it actually, with the tweak, would have done really well. But that cookie was just unforgivable. So in last place today, Quasi. It was Fourth that place. bad. <laughs> it was that bad. It was that bad? Quasi. It was better than Jared. Jared's cooking better than mine. I'm so sorry, Quasi. It was that way. Talk about. <laughs>
You said it yourself when you tasted it. Was pretty, it was horrible. <laughs> but he, he didn't have a bake before. Okay, why me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so bronze or third place. Third place, sure. Uh, again, it came down to the filling. So the filling was very unique, special. <laughs> um, and very powerful. Powerful. And the honor of third place goes to Karen. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Suck that! You were going against me, you're out there! Suck it! Third place! That's not last place! That's like first place for me! Yes! It all comes down to ham and an Oreo they hated. <laughs> Let's go! So between the ham Oreo and the tahine Oreo, which are words that I never thought would come out of my mouth. Mango tahine. Mango tahine. <laughs> yeah, mango tahine Oreo. <laughs> the winner, I'm so happy to announce, is Zach. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm so glad that you were able to sit with it and realize how much you loved it. <laughs> I'm so proud of Sweet Ham. I think what I've done for ham today is huge. Congrats to Zach and congrats to all of us. And thanks so much to our judges. Tune in. We got four more episodes left, plus the live special. So get your tickets right now. Tryguys.com slash war. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah. I'm never going to lose again. Next week on Without a Recipe, croissant. Anybody smell a fire? 24 hours in the kitchen. Not fun to eat it. Oh, God, that part. I don't even know how to spell croissant. <laughs>